Okay guys, so um, uh, uploading a video at the moment, this is the third video now, um, still uploading the first one, it's got 17 minutes left, uh, I've just done a second video, um, very much in the same theme, uh, themes and like that. Right way of describing it, probably not. Um, but in the same, <clears throat> um, see how sometimes I just can't find the word I'm looking for. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I'm kind of seriously wondering why I'm making these videos now because. They do feel very destructive, self-destructive. I mean, how many people are going to really be um, I can't find the can't find words sometimes. Um, Can you imagine a channel where somebody just sits there and doesn't say anything, or whatever, or just prattles on like I am in the last three videos that I've done, this being the third video that is. <clears throat> um, Tea is way too hot to drink yet. <clears throat> um, I, it's funny because the last two videos I've just made, uh, the first one I had. A few moments where I'm just not saying anything, I go really quiet. And the second one, I don't know if it increases or not. I didn't really notice whether it did or not. It seemed about the same sort of moments of quietness, but maybe maybe not. Maybe there wasn't any more significantly quiet moments in the second video than the first, but because I was just thinking, wow, this next video I've gone even quieter. It's like I thought I wanted to make another video, but I don't know if it's because it's now quarter past two in the morning and I'm feeling really, really tired, um, or, or maybe doing these videos isn't such a good thing after all. I thought it'd be very cathartic, very therapeutic in some ways, you know, maybe I'll learn something from watching myself back. But then you think, well, okay, that's fine. Why do you have to stick it on your channel? Um, you know, especially if you don't necessarily want to lose viewership and viewers or whatever. Um, you know, because this is a great way of turning people off my channel, I reckon. Um, who wants to watch a miserable old get like me? Um, so I was thinking of grumpy old men when I said that. I don't know if you've seen that film, Walter Matthau and uh, Jack Lemmon. Um, there's two of them actually, it's Grumpy Old Men and, is it Grumpier Old Men or something? The second one, I can't remember. Um, I love both those movies though. I like both of those actors actually. Um, very dry humour, love it. Uh, yeah, um... <clears throat> so, maybe I'm turning into a grumpy old man. Uh, yeah, so, 
I don't know, am I getting, is it because I'm tired? I do feel tired, physically now as well, not just emotionally and so forth and what have you. Um, you know, in some ways, actually, as well, this is almost like the supposed... See, that's the other thing as well. The amount of times I've come up with projects, that's an absolute trait of somebody with my diagnosis. Absolute classic trait. Uh, at least this is what I'm led to believe from the experts and so forth and whatever. Da, 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 da. And I've got some anecdotal evidence from other people I've known with the same diagnosis and whatever that kind of bear this out a little bit. But, you know, there's always room for interpretation and room for differences of opinion. But the trait I'm on about is is that start something, never finish it, never complete it, never never finish something that you start. Uh, now, again, I'm making a sort of generalisation really, I think, when I think about it, because you could you could apply that to anybody. You don't necessarily have to have a flipping diagnosis necessarily, but I mean, you know, it, it, it is supposedly a sort of part of that. Well, whether it is or it isn't, um, it certainly applies to me. Uh, and, you know, because the thing is, I start stuff and I never finish it. It's like the, like the label tree. The label tree sat in my bedroom there. I just can't get around to doing it. Because I just can't be bothered right now. Well, no, again, I can't really say that because... <clears throat> It's not just that, it's the fact is that my head, I know exactly because I can hear the chatter now, I can hear what my head's trying to tell me when I'm thinking, I'm not even contemplating starting it now, but the, the rhetoric is already there, it's already this mantra, this, all, this, this, what's the name, it's already, it's like a cassette recorder, it's like a, it's like a tape, it's just the, the press play has just been pressed, as soon as I think about, I start talking about it and thinking about it, that record has been pressed and it's kind of like, oh, what's the point? It's a load of rubbish. Um, it's useless. You're no good at art anyway. Um, <clears throat> what's the point? Um, what are you going to do with it in the end anyway? It's not like it's going to sit in a museum somewhere, an art gallery or something. Do you know what I mean? What's the point? Why are you even bothering? So it's all that sort of negative chatter that it's like, say, as soon as I start thinking, it's automatic. It's like, it's like a pre-recorded, what's the name? And the button's been pressed, and and now I can hear that rhetoric in my head saying, like, what's the point of even completing the uh, label tree? Um, so it's not so much that I, I can't be bothered in that sense. It's not like a, what's it? It's more about the fact that I feel completely disheartened, and I feel completely uh, unmotivated, because my head is basically telling me that it's, it's a load of rubbish. So what's the point of carrying on with something that is... A pile of rubbish um, because it looks nothing like a tree anyway um, <clears throat> and all the rest of it and all the usual negative stuff that comes piling in so that's one um, the other thing is this uh, well in fact there was a couple of other things and now for the uh, they, they now escape me for a minute but the other one is the video you know the the, the day in the life of um, you know, I've got a pile of footage that I've been taking here and there. Uh, like I say, there's one where I've got it on the selfie stick and I'm on the tube. Um, and it's just like, just trying to film little bits of, what's that, just try and put it together in a documentary style, sort of like, the, you know, like, like you do, like you see on the TV or whatever sort of thing, where there's a tiny bit of, uh, uh, not a piece to camera, because a piece to camera is what I'm doing now. Um, <clears throat> but... Uh, what do they call it? I don't know what you call it to be honest. Anyway, but like there's um like I say that 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 you know where you get you get little snippets of footage to, to put together in a, a a larger packet that that you know relates to the story you're trying to relate, whatever. So I've got loads of different footage. Um I quite like the ones where I'm on the tube because I'm trying to act so the trouble is I don't pull it off that well to record this because every now and again I've got to look at the camera to make sure I'm still in shot. See that's why I could do with somebody else 
filming me at times to be quite honest it would be really cool if I could get a friend or someone um, to, to follow me around for half a day or something I don't know whatever do you know what I mean whatever's practical and possible you know because that would be it would be making it so much easier in that sense because like I'm trying to keep an eye on the fact that like you know I'm trying to make it look natural I'm trying to I'm giving all the way secrets here now aren't I oh I don't care whatever um, <clears throat> so you know, I'm trying to make it look sort of nonchalant, natural, you know, here's me just riding on the tube, this is what I do almost every day when I'm going to work or when I'm going to do a project or whatever it is I'm doing, you know, this is my everyday existence of being on the tube because I do use the tube almost every day um, and sometimes two or three times in the day, do you know what I mean, uh, just depending um, and, and the thing is, like I say, um, you know, the thing, uh, it's part of my life, it's part of what I do. I actually quite enjoy the tube at times, not all the time, um, particularly in the rush hour times. But anyway, um, but generally overall, I quite like the tube because it is very quick, generally speaking. Uh, some lines quicker than others. But anyway, so, 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 so like I said, the thing is that, you know, I, I'm trying to film this piece as if it's like, you know, I'm being filmed by somebody. But I've got it on the selfie stick and I'm... You know, but the thing is, the train's moving around and your arm moves and, and also I am trying to move it around a little bit so that, again, it, it's not just a static shot. Um, and, and, and the thing is that, like, obviously there might be times when I'm going too high up and all I'm capturing is the thing behind me instead of me or whatever. So obviously every now and again I've got to kind of look at it. Uh, and, and that kind of spoils the whole, because I'm, like I said, I'm trying to get it as naturalistic as possible. Do you know what I mean? I want it to look reasonably natural. Do you know what I mean? It's supposed to be like a day in the life of. Um, <laughs> but, <clears throat> obviously, it's not, you know. Uh, anyway, so. But again, you know. You see, I'm talking quite warmly and fondly about it, aren't I? But, you know, the reality is that, again, I'm dragging my heels on it, to be quite honest. Uh, God knows when I'll get round to actually putting it all together. So despondent right now. For so I hate being like this. I hate it. I hate being like this. Anywho, um, sorry, I'm, I'm also, uh, uh, the reason why I'm hesitating this time is because my head's trying to say, look, this video's gone on long enough, um, and, you know, you're already uploading, like, one video that's half an hour long, this, the next one is half an hour long, um, you know, and, you know, by the time you get this lot uploaded, it's going to be early morning, it's going to be, it's going to be dawn in a minute, well, not in a minute, too, sorry, it's half past, well, it's 25 past two now, um, but, you know, the way things are shaping up, uh, I'll still be sat here uploading, uh, or whatever, um, by the time it starts cracking dawn, um, Okay, um, I might as well leave it there, I guess. Right, okay, guys. Um, again, as always, thanks for watching, uh, and bye for now.